this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and today we're looking at the HTC Evo 3D case. Uh, it's the Aegis series case by Trident. Uh, if you're not with Cricket Wireless and you're kind of wondering why we do videos on these products for phones with other carriers, it's because you can actually flash phones over to uh, Cricket Wireless. Anyways, here's our HTC uh, Evo 3D. Uh, initially we had the OtterBox uh, Defender Series case. Uh, it offers uh, definitely a lot of protection. You can see on the back it has uh, this to protect the, the 3D camera. Uh, it has a couple layers, uh, this rubber layer. Everything kind of fits in the ports. And then it has the plastic layer. Well if you look at the plastic layer, uh, there are actually clips. And if you do a lot of things that might crash your device or you have to do battery pulls quite often, change batteries out uh, for any other reason. Um, you might find that some of the clips tend to break. Uh, OtterBox usually does honor uh, warranties on their products and they'll probably ship you out a uh, new one. The Defender case comes with a clip also. Um, a lot of the times I've found out that I really don't need the maximum amount of protection offered by some of these cases. Uh, Trident also has a couple different series that add uh, additional uh, protection. Uh, I've jumped out of uh, airplanes with, with some of these devices and uh, been in the field with them and I just don't see myself needing the amount of protection that the uh, some of these products offer. Uh, I usually can get by with um, this Aegis series for instance. Um, this also has two layers. You have the uh, rubber layer that goes directly around the phone. And then you have this uh, plastic layer that lays on top of it. Like I said earlier, it does come with uh, three layers of protection. The third layer is a screen protector that comes with it. Um, it's one of the harder ones, uh, unlike the Zag. Uh, I received two cases and I actually had a hard time uh, getting all the bubbles uh, out even by following their instructions. I noticed that the, the Zag usually lays down a lot better or some of the stock uh, screen covers uh, from Verizon. Of course screen covers don't usually run that much. Um, if you got the case you might want to purchase a different uh, type of screen protector. Other than that, it, it fits the device really well. If you have to do a battery pull, uh, there's no problem. Um, all the ports have their little covers. Uh, there's no screen or filter uh, to keep dust out on this series case. I believe the Model Up does have something. Uh, when I was in the National Training Center in the Mojave Desert, uh, you can might be able to see got some dust in here and I had to use a little uh, brush to get most of it out. The one thing I don't like is that it doesn't seem to sit flush. I don't know if this is because I take the device out a lot. Um, just a very minor uh, nuisance. I, I don't really even care. Um, one of the things I really liked about this case is it doesn't because it has the rubber right there it doesn't really slide around too much. I've been able to put it on uh, different surfaces uh, put it in my vehicle. Um, there's also standoff right here so you can lay the phone uh, straight down if you don't want anyone to be uh, looking at your phone or seeing um, that you're getting messages or whatnot. It's good. Um, some of the cases uh, from other manufacturers didn't have this hole. Uh, if you didn't know, there's a, a place where you can put a tether on your Evo 3D and they've already made a slot for it so it'll come out there has the appropriate holes for the uh, microphone. Um, this case doesn't even uh, cost thirty dollars in most places I believe so I definitely think it's a uh, good value. Here's the, uh, it's the retail packaging. So for more information about uh, this case, flashing phones to Cricket Wireless and more, please visit our site at www.cricketusers.com and like our Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash cricket users and please subscribe to our videos.